Hi, I'm Libby Gibson, Town Manager. Welcome to What's Going On in Town Government. We had a shortish meeting on Wednesday, Board of Selectmen's meeting. Um, we were short one board member. We recognized Police Officer Kevin Rogers for 29 years of service for the Nantucket Police Department. He is retiring. So good luck to you, Kevin. The Memorial Day Parade, um, you okay there? Yeah is going to be held on Sunday, May 26th at 1, starts at 1 p.m. in front of the American Legion. We have a bunch of board committee and commission vacancies. If you're interested in a volunteer position, check out our town website. And town offices, of course, will be closed on Monday, May 27th in observance of Memorial Day. And we have no board of selectmen's meeting on Wednesday, May 29th, because it is, the, it is the fifth Wednesday. We had a little bit of public comment at our meeting this week. Um, our, the chairman of our Roads and Right-of-Way Committee, Alan Reinhard, was present and he spoke about the need for improvements to First Way, which is known. First Way is an unimproved way that runs from Hooper Farm Road to through to Surfside Road. And there's been some discussion about sidewalks, lighting, other road improvements. That's all some money, of course, and it isn't forecast right now in our capital plan. Plus, there was a little bit of discussion at one point about paving first way. Paving first way, I think we all know, is going to cause that road to become much busier. So there, when this initially came up about a year ago, we said, if we're going to pave first way, and I'm not sure how serious of a discussion that was, but if that was a consideration, we need to look at that entire area, Four Corners, Bartlett Road, Surfside Intersection, Vesper, Atlantic Ave Intersection, because that, that could have some consequences, or may, may be good, but maybe not. So is, we, is we need to look at that. Is the one that goes from the high school over to Hooper Farm? It's in the back of the high school, yeah, yeah. by the teen center. That's first way. Definitely pave it. Definitely pave it. Interesting. Seaweed wants it paved. Didn't you see the interview I did with Seaweed no. this year? No. I didn't. Oh my God. He, went he was out of his mind. I mean, he was his head was banging against the, the window wow. and he was screaming oh my goodness. about how terrible that road is. Well, it is, a, it is not a great road. It's There's no terrible. question about it. So but calm down for a minute. It's um, just seaweed I'm thinking of here. I, okay. I don't live there. Well, I don't, I, I don't either, but I think the neighbors would have something to say about paving. Maybe good, maybe not. I don't know. Well, so we will, if you're a neighbor and you're watching, we will engage you <laughs> at some point if and when we start to talk about paving. Okay, so don't freak about that. Meanwhile, though, the DPW has been trying to get to that road on a more regular basis to grade it, and we talked about the possibility. I'm probably going to have to go do a little site visit there and look at what we can do to maybe widen areas of it so that it's safer for kids who are walking on along it to get to wherever. Okay, so that's, I don't know, that's under discussion and some action. Alan also is the chairman of the Nantucket Civic League, and the Civic League is sponsoring a SEAL forum on Monday, the 20th, at Four Fairgrounds Community Room at 4 30, from 4.30 to 6. They're going to have anti-SEAL people and pro-SEAL people. I heard a guy on the radio this morning talking about it, and he was at the meeting too, um, Scott Leonard. He's he's on. I interviewed him too. You did. Is yeah, he the we'll SEAL? We'll be filming it too. Is he the... Um, proponent. He's a proponent. Is he SEAL abatement or SEAL... SEAL. Keep the SEALs. So he's a pro... See, I don't, don't even know. Don't, don't. Okay. He doesn't want anything to happen to the right. SEALs. So, so if you don't want anything to happen to them, you're pro. And if you want something to happen to them, you're anti. Yeah. I'm neutral, by the way. But I think hey, I might go the, to the I farm. don't know how they taste. I'd like to have a steak. Okay. The Eskimos like it. The, they're not Eskimos. They're, um, what are they called again? Um, they don't like to be called that. No, they like to be called um, indigenous. <laughs> I don't prefer, I, I forgot the name. Anyway, um, we also talked about the town pier. And there's a lot of damage from the town pier from the winter storms and also over time. So we have a pretty comprehensive engineering report that is not totally complete because it doesn't have all the costs associated with it yet. But we had intended to open the pier entirely this weekend, but now it's going to be open on a more limited basis because the engineering report showed there are certain things that need to be shored up or entirely repaired. So 
while the marine contractor is over at the boat basin and doing some work for the, I don't know, I think it's the Nantucket Yacht Club. We're hoping to get them over to do some work on the town pier. All in accordance with procurement law, of course. Anyway, that was our public comment discussion. Um, we had four what we call telephone petitions, but actually these were more like electric company petitions for the installation of handholes, conduits, things like that, all to be tunneled under the ground. Um, we had a bunch of public hearings for licensing issues. We had a transfer of a common victualler license for the Nantucket Bake Shop from Orange Street to 17 Old South Road. We had a new common victualler license for New Cumberland Farms. Yes, they should have had one some time ago. They didn't. They have one now. We had a new common victualler license for Old South Diner. Not, not sure what happened there. Maybe a new manager or something. We had a new common victualler for a place called Bricks, which is where the cellar package store used to be on Surfside Road. We had a new entertainment license for the proprietors, which is the former DeMarco's, and American Seasons. And both um, of these establishments evidently have been, they're not doing big new entertainment. They're doing televisions and radios, pr primarily CD music. Um, and they've been doing it, so they, but they weren't licensed properly. So now they're just kind of correct, getting the license for what they should have had it for. Um, same with Great Harbor Yacht Club Sports Barn on 96 Washington and the Great Harbor Swim and Tennis Club on Nobody Farm Great Road. Great Harbor Sports Bar? Barn. Sports Barn. B-A-R-N. Is that a, is that? I think that's their like workout gym place. Oh, I see. Okay. New entertainment license for Nantucket Golf Club. The same type of thing here. They do weddings, they do events, they do whatever. Um, but they didn't actually have the entertainment license. So there was some discussion about this from some of the neighbors. And there were, were a couple of conditions put on which the um, golf club was fine with. And there were a couple of neighbors there to express some concern. But it all got resolved in the end. And we had a, seasonal, a new seasonal package store license for... Sparks Avenue Fine Wine and Liquors at 30 Sparks Ave, which I believe is the building next to Cumbies, New Cumbies, and it was withdrawn, so no action. Ah. We had an update from our DPW director about Phase 2B Downtown Sewer Rehab Project. I've been trying to, I hope I don't sound like a broken record, but the project is not done yet. It is done for the season. It is going to pick up again late next fall and be finished, please God, by this time next year. Um, we talked about, then we had Board of Selectmen's reports and comments, which is an item that comes at the end of our agenda. There was a bit of discussion about moving that agenda item to the beginning of the agenda, but the board pretty much decided to leave it where it is because they are sensitive to the fact that when people are coming in for agenda items, oddly, they might not want to sit through the board's reports and comments. So get those people in and out to get their business done, and then the board can have its own discussion at the end. They left it that way. We also talked about reporting from the town manager and town administration. And I have a monthly, I have a, um, a report, town manager's report item on the agenda, and it has different things on it every week. But I don't give the report, the board, like a weekly report or a monthly report in a particular format. Some town managers do that, some don't. It's not very consistent across the board, I've, I have found. So we don't want to spend half our day preparing a report for the board about what we are doing, but we do want the board to know what we are doing because they get a lot of questions from their constituents and the public and they need to, they need to know what's going on. So we're going to figure something out. Um, and we're, So we had some dialogue about that, uh, ongoing probably. The board also, what else do we do? Um, that's about it. Next week we have a county meeting, which there's not very much on that county agenda, just a couple of real estate things. We have a lot of real estate things on the town side of things as well. Um, the Seal Abatement Coalition is coming in to request the board to endorse or, or maybe adopt a research resolution regarding the local gray seal population. This is research only, I guess, about the population and the, I, I don't even know, about, you know, they weren't, they were, the population went down, now it's come back up, and they want to kind of research where they go, and I don't know, what they do, stuff like that. Yeah. Um, I probably haven't given that item its due, sorry, but I didn't read the entire resolution yet. We have a lot of 
like I said, a lot of other real estate items from planning office, much of it yard sale related, our yard sale program, which just so people know, the yard sale program was developed a number of years ago and the idea is that parcels of land that are town owned but aren't necessary for any particular municipal purpose, probably because they're too small or in locations where there's just no municipal activity. We um, clear title at town meeting and then the board is authorized to put the, to dispose of those parcels. So they're generally put out to bid. Neighbors can bid on them or whoever, but generally it would be a neighbor that would have the interest. And sometimes there are conditions put on the sale and then the, the property can go back onto the tax rolls, so where it previously wasn't. So anyway, it's an ongoing program. We also have our first public hearing for committee applications. We're having two public hearings. Um, our first bunch is Agricultural Commission, Airport Commission, Board of Health, Capital Program Committee, Cemetery Commission, Conservation Commission, Contract Review Committee, Council for Human Services, Council on Aging, Cultural Council, and Finance Committee. This is just the public hearings for the board to hear from applicants. They will make, be making actual appointments at the end of June. We also have some other real estate public hearings. Um, we're going to be talking again about town infrastructure that is threatened by erosion. Specifically, two weeks ago, we talked about Baxter Road. We're talking about Baxter Road again. The board had some questions and wanted some more information about a few things, so we're going to talk about that again next week. They are also going to talk about parking, two particular things. There's been some discussion among the board members about extending parking enforcement hours from 6 p.m. to 7 p.m., and that's already been done in the core parking district. All of the district they're talking about now. They're just having a discussion about it. So if you're interested in that, please attend the meeting. Two weeks ago, they also want, talked about residential parking permit regulations. And we, are, we have a public hearing scheduled for June 5th at which the board is supposed to be taking action on a proposed amendment to the residential parking permit regulations. But they're going to have some additional discussion about that next week. Um, there's been some talk about establishing a personnel compensation committee. They're going to be w that would have a combination of finance committee people on it, board, school committee, I think, and maybe air airport and um, water company. So they're going to be talking about that. And that is some other real estate things. Boy, that, big that's meeting. About it. It's it's going to be a pretty big meeting. Yeah. Um, we don't have a meeting the following week, and then. All of June we have meetings and then we go into our summer schedule, which is two meetings a month in July and August, although the board may may dabble around in some workshop meetings the, the, the other Wednesdays possibly. Um, what else is going on? I mentioned the SEAL forum. Um, yeah. I guess that's, that's it. Lot, it. Lots of things happening, but, you know, it's all good. Isn't it? Yeah. We're on Nantucket. How could it not be all good? Exactly. So hopefully it's going to be a great weekend. Yeah. I hope it's sunny and warm. I am totally ready for sunny it's, and warm. Gosh. We've earned it. We've earned it. All right. <laughs> we have. Okay. So I think that's about it. Thanks very much.